Hello. Didn't see you there. Let's get right into the Rube Goldberg. So we start off with this cellular device, which will vibrate by converting the chemical potential energy into electrical energy, which will convert into kinetic energy, starting these dominoes going down, which will send this golf ball down the ramp into the cup, and using this lever, send this cup up, and under there's a train with a magnet on it, sending it over here, push this train off using magnetic energy into this domino, which will cause the binder to fall down, which will send this car into that domino, doing the same thing. That car will hit these dominoes. This domino has a string on it because it's special, and it'll fall over, taking this barrier with it. This purple car hits golf ball down ramp, and then it'll like land on the, the do like the kitties call it today. Oh, yeah, a lever. And it'll like hit this domino, it'll like do a flip, you'll see it. And it'll hit off this domino, causing this thing to fall, activating the Newton's cradle, which will send this thing into the cup, starting the Atwood machine, sending this cup up, which will hit this lever, sending the golf ball into the CDs, which will hit the truck, starting the pendulum, which will hit this golf ball down the ramp into this thing, which will start this device using centrifugal force, which will eventually will spin around into this domino, which will then start the chain, causing this golf ball to fall into that cup, and then using a system of levers, sorry, of, of pulleys, will activate the generator over there, connected to a gear, which will send this cart up the rails, hitting this cart with a juice box attached to it which is filled with water, sending it over the edge, pouring into the funnel, landing in that cup. Boy, I sure am thirsty. Let me call my friend Tyler. For trial one, we thought that the train would roll directly down the tracks as soon as the lever was open. However, the, uh, the train was not properly on the tracks and therefore could not roll down the tracks properly. In order to change it, we have to double check to make sure that the train would be properly on the tracks so that it could work. So, uh, the way we set it up here is that there's an inclined ramp which would cause the foam, when it begins to vibrate when someone calls, to slide down. However, in this trial, the foam had its case on, which increased its friction which didn't enable it to go all the way down the ramp and hit the domino down. So in order to fix this, we removed the foam case to decrease friction so it could knock these dominoes, hitting the pen out of the way so that the ball can go down in the parabolic motion. This is my favorite part, right here. In trial 4, what we thought would work was this train would hit this domino and then the binder would close 
hitting these dominoes. However, there's a very low reliability in this in trial four. So what we had to do is add ex two extra dominoes here and an extra track in order to in order to make it more likely that the first the train would hit these dominoes and the car would hit these second dominoes. In this segment, when the red car here knocks the dominoes out of the place holding the binder, the domino, uh, the binder is supposed to fall down, which gives the car enough energy so that it's able to move forward and knock the dominoes over, so that the adhesive tack here can move out of the way, allowing the car to move down. However, in our trial nine, the car swerved out of the way and missed the dominoes altogether because the binder closing down causes the car to swerve over to the right. So in order to increase the reliability, we had already put two dominoes to try to, if the car moves over a bit, the dominoes could still get hit and knocking the dominoes out, allowing the car to fall. However, originally in trial nine, the car was moved up all the way at the top of the binder so it was able to swerve a lot. However, by moving the car down near the end of the binder, we were able to minimize the swerving. So in trial 26, what we had hoped would work was that the pendulum would swing and hit the ball down the ramp into the barrier, which would allow the centrifugal force to spin and eventually hit this domino down and hit this golf ball into that cup, which would make the cart come up and eventually the water go into the cup. There were a few problems, however, that occurred. One of them was that the, there was not enough centrifugal force to hit the domino over here. So what we have to do to make sure that it works next time is tie the rubber band more tightly around the pole so that it can swing further and hit the dominoes. And another problem was that uh, the dominoes wouldn't stand uh, very reliably on this, on this barrier. So we had to go around the edges in order for the ball to go into the cup. <laughs> 